Very crucial po na malaman at matutunan natin kung ano ba ang fertile period at kung paano ito kinakalculate. If plano nyong magbuntis or kapag nag engage kayo or if you're practicing unprotected sex or kapag let's say hindi pa kayo ready para ma-prevent ang unwanted and unplanned pregnancy. Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know me yet, my name is Eileen and in this video, aalamin natin guys kung ilan ang menstrual cycle length mo, ang ovulation day mo at ang fertile period mo para mas mamamagay maximize nyo ang chances of getting pregnant, o diba, more chances of winning, and ma-prevent ang any unwanted or unplanned pregnancy pag hindi pa kayo ready. So, Tara, let's begin! Ang menstrual cycle length po nating mga babae ay nag average ng 28 days and pwede din siyang mag-vary from 21 days to 35 days in most cases. So, paano ba natin kinakalculate ang menstrual cycle length nating mga babae? So, mag-count po tayo ng first day doon sa unang araw kung kailan po tayo niregla or nag-bleeding hanggang doon sa susunod na period mo or cycle mo. So, for example po, nagkaroon ka ng menstrual cycle ng April 1st. Tapos yung sumunod na period mo, nagkaroon ka na ng April 28. So, 28 days po yung cycle mo nun. Another example is nagkaroon ka ng menstrual bleeding on May 1st. Tapos yung sumunod na menstrual period mo is May 30. So, 30 days po yung cycle mo. Another example is nagkaroon ka ng menstrual period May 1st. Tapos yung sumunod na period mo is June 4th. So, 35 days yung cycle mo nun kasi may 31 days ang May. Tapos 32 yung June 1st. 33 yung June 2nd. 34 yung June 3rd. Tapos 35 yung June 4th. So, 35 days yung cycle mo nun. So, ganyan po natin ikakalculate ang menstrual length nating mga babae. Ayan, after mo malaman or makalculate kung ilan ang menstrual cycle length mo, paano mo naman malalaman or makakalculate ang ovulation day mo? So, ang formula dyan is length of cycle minus luteal phase which is 14 days. So, nag-ovulate ka or nag-release ka ng egg cell 14 days bago yung next period or cycle mo. For example po, 28 days yung cycle cycle mo. So, remember, cycle length minus luteal phase. So, 28 days minus 14 is equals to 14. So, day 14 ang ovulation day mo. So, for example, nagkaroon ka ng menstrual period on May 1st. So, mark that as your first day of your cycle. So, since 28 days yung cycle mo, ang expected next period mo is May 28. So, i-mark nyo din po yun. So, ngayon, para malaman yung ovulation day mo, Magka-count po tayo ng 14 days pabalik simula sa May 27. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, May 14 po yung ovulation day nyo. So, since hindi po constant ang follicular phase, mag-a-add po tayo ng 2 days before at saka 2 days after ng ovulation day. So, yun po yung tinatawag na fertile days na nangyayari po sa ovulation phase ng menstrual cycle nyo kasi apat po ang phases ng menstruation. Meron pong menstruation, follicular, ovulation, and luteal phase. So, ngayon, ang fertile days nyo po ay from May 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So, yun po yung days na mataas ang chances of winning, of getting getting pregnant and mabuntis kayo. And iwasan yung fertile days na yon kapag hindi pa kayo ready magbuntis. Lagi pong tandaan na viable po or nabubuhay ang egg cells nating mga babae hanggang 24 oras kapag hindi po siya na-fertilize ni sperm cell. And si sperm cell naman po umaabot yung viability niya or nabubuhay siya hanggang limang araw sa uterus ng mga babae after ng sexual intercourse. Another example naman po is 30 day cycle. So 30 days minus 14 is equals to 16. So day 16 po ang ovulation day nyo. So for example po, nagkaroon kayo ng menstrual bleeding or nagstart yung menstrual cycle nyo on May 1st. So i-mark nyo po yan as day 1. Tapos yung sumunod po na period nyo, nagkaroon kayo on May 30. So i-mark nyo din po yan. Ngayon yung ovulation day nyo po, magka-count po tayo ng 14 days pabalik simula May 29. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, ovulation day nyo po is May 16. And yung fertile period nyo is from May 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 40 days cycle. So, 40 minus 14 is equals to 26. So, for example po, nagkaroon kayo on May 1st. So, i-mark nyo yun as your first day of your period. Tapos, nagkaroon ulit kayo on June 9th. 
So, i-mark niyo po yan as your first day of your next cycle. So, magka-count po tayo ng 14 days pabalik starting on June 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, ang ovulation day niyo po is May 26. Ang fertile days niyo po is from May 24th, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So, nagtataka siguro kayo kung paano naman itatrack ng mga irregular ang periods yung ovulation day nila. So, pwede nyong itrack yung ovulation day nyo using your vaginal discharge. So, yung vaginal discharge nyo guys, kapag nakita nyo na ano siya, clear, colorless, walang kulay, watery, sticky, ganun yung parang yung sa egg white. So, malamang is fertile kayo or nag-ovulate na kayo. Kasi yung ganong consistency yung parang sa egg white, yun yung way ng sperm para umakyat sa cervix nating mga babae. Pwede rin natin itrack yung basal body temperature sa umaga kasi tumataas yung body temperature natin ng 0.5 degrees Celsius or 1 degree Fahrenheit kapag nagre-release tayo ng egg cell dahil sa mataas na estrogen and progesterone level sa katawan natin. Hopefully you find this video helpful guys and nalaman nyo yung menstrual cycle length nyo, kung kailan yung ovulation day nyo and fertile periods nyo. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!